the founding member of the 1500-1500 club. That would be 1500 kills and 1500 digs. Impressive number. I mean, astronomical numbers. You know, you said it yourself. Whenever you're the first of anything in a category, it really speaks uh, to just how impressive you have been over your career. And, you know, Lindsay Rachel, as we know, we, we have her highlights in pretty much all of our 60-second beds yes. um, from at least one time or another, where she whether she goes left pin swing or just, you know, finds the finds the, uh, finds the floor. back of the line, yep, finds yep. the floor, anything. Shooting so, on to six. Shooting on to six, yep. So, I mean, Lindsay Rachel, had an outstanding career, but she is not the only one we are celebrating tonight. No. Un other fantastic people we are celebrating tonight it, uh, includes, but it's not limited to, uh, you know, Rachel Houle, uh, McKenna Holman, and uh, Stone Mountain herself, K2, Phoebe Rossi. That'd be Mount Everest, Phoebe Rossi. Uh, you know, Mount Everest, K2. Hey, and then they're tall mountains out there, man. And then Phoebe Rossi, Lindsay Rachel, and Kenzie Foley are all NSIC First team and Lindsay Rachel, big award here. The NSIC Outstanding Senior of the Year Award. It's a lot to do with not just on the court, but also in the classroom. I believe she has like a 4.0 GPA. I can't say I have that I, at I the moment. I can't say I have one either. Uh, but it's very impressive to be a student athlete going to practice, traveling to games, and getting straight A's. Oh, 100% as, uh, you know, the volleyball team is warm right in front of us here. And let me tell you, they are taking the rubber out of this ball already, man. Molten yeah. already being scratched off Yeah, it. Molten is already being scratched off of some of these things, man. So we might be in for a very fun night here as uh, we haven't even talked about their opponent I, I yet, literally, you, know? you read my mind. I was remembering, well, there's another team in the building. There Adam. is. It is the Minot State University Beavers. And the Beavers, they won their first game of the season last weekend against Minnesota Crookston in a 3-1 to one victory. The Beavers come into this one 1-24. One and 24. And great, this Beaver team is very, very young. They're gonna, you gotta have growing pains. Hey, they got their first one last weekend. They could get number two here. You know, they could 100%, and, and it's gonna be very key for them uh, to find free points wherever they can. Now, this St. Cloud State team has shown us a tendency to give up free points here and there every now and end again. Of set. Yeah, you know, in the end of sets and occasionally in the middle. But also, like for my night, you got to locate the creases on D. We know with St. Cloud State, it's one of two things. It's either going to be the middle or it's going to be the back line. That is where teams have found the best advantage uh, against this team this season, and that's where they've really been able to capitalize. And for my night, they're really led by Alexandra Coots. She's a sophomore outside hitter, leads the team in kills and kills per set. 164 kills, 2.1 kills per set. Second on the team in digs. And if it's really not going to be Alexandra Coots, it's going to be Jenna McCauley. She leads the team in hitting percentage with 267. 342 assists. She's also leading the team there. So for Minot State, they have four redshirt freshmen, a couple of international players as well. Bit of a mixed bag, but for this Minot State team, they're really looking to build something here in the next couple of years. Well, they, they are indeed, and, you know, they're not the only ones. I mean, St. Cloud, we talked about it um, about 30 minutes ago, about the youth that is coming up through this program and about whoever Coach Bregelman can get his hands on in terms of the recruiting pool, uh, you know, coming into next season. But, you know, definitely something to build on here for Minot. I mean, you touched on it. They're a very young program, you know, kind of a mixed bag of sorts, a melting pot, if yes. you will. Um, so, I mean, it, it's definitely a lot to look forward to, even though they are only 1-24. in 24. Hey, you got the monkey off your back. You got one. And, you know, a lot of people think as soon as you break the ice, that's where the snowball effect can come into play. And, you know, I know for a lot of people, at least for myself and Chad Bregel and Marcia Tumalolo, you're, all, you're just kind of you're just kind of rooting for them to break through, get that first victory. First victory. They took SMSU, who's a top-10 team of the nation, to set five on their home court just a couple weeks ago kind of caught everyone off guard, caught, caught SMSU off guard, as you can't afford to sleep. There's no nap time here against the Beavers. Yeah, and that's just what I was about to say for St. Cloud. I mean, we touched on it many times. This is the best conference in Division Two, 100%. Even the teams at the bottom, there are no off nights in this conference. So for, you know, if you're St. Cloud State here tonight, too many things you got to do. You got to control the flow of the game. That, that's number one. I mean, you, you can't let Minot dictate how you play this game. And then number two, I've said it a lot, but have fun. 
All right, it's senior night. It's it's senior night, but you know, just just have fun playing volleyball. You know, you're coming off of a 2-0 sweep on the weekend. Their first 2-0 sweep on the road since the start of conference play when they played Minot and you Mary. Took the words right out of my mouth right there, Earnhardt. But yeah, man, you know, just just have fun. Like have have fun again playing volleyball. That's the biggest thing. Again, you want to be playing your best volleyball at the end of the season, which Minot definitely is. And with St. Cloud, you know, they're still. They're still trying to find what their best volleyball looks like after starting off the season so red hot. And it's like you, you want to you want to kick it into gear now because next weekend NSIC conference pro, NSIC tournament play, and it just about seems as a lock that St. Cloud will meet against the SMSU Mustangs. You and I will be on that call. We will be. We'll be back at the Gangelhoff Center down in St. Paul, the home of the CSP Golden now, Bears. Now, here's the real key. Are we going to be stopping at Cassettas before we hit oh. We got We got to hit some. We, we, got, gotta, we talked about it. We got to stop. We have to now. It's it's Cassettas or it's Mickey's. It's one of the two, man. We I think it's Cassettas. We hit, we hit Cassettas, and then win or lose. Mickey's done. We go to Mickey's. Mickey's we either drown hey. our sorrows or we celebrate. That's that's fine with me, Earnhardt. But you know what? 45 seconds left. We should probably let the people go and let the uh, senior night uh, celebration commence here. All right. And for Adam Larson, Earnhardt Jaworski, we're going to throw it to a break here on 97.5 Radio X. And when we come back, we'll be opening serve for Husky Volleyball. Hey Thomas, I want to listen to the Huskies volleyball match today, but I don't know where to go. Can you help me out? Of course, Brooks. You can find the Huskies all season long on the KVSC Sports stream. Just go to kvsc.org backslash sports and click at the link at the top of the screen. Awesome. I can't wait to hear my favorite team get the win. Set over by Uwabari, set Torby, left pin swing. Oh my goodness, Lindsay Rachel. Shooting on to six. Finds the floor and St. Cloud State leads 19 to 13. Now quick set, Torby, Nyer, get out of the way! Micah Nyer thumping it home. Micah picks up her fifth kill on eight swings. Quick to Bolso. Shooting out of six from the middle, a good set by Maddie Torby and Mara Bolso. Finds another kill, it's 12 to 10. Cruzel Brink, a nice dig in the back row by Olsted. I'm Taylor Olsted, I'm a DS for St. Cloud State Volleyball, and you're listening to the KVSC Sports Stream. Oh my god, Caleb, I can't find the score of the Husky game anywhere. Do you know what the score is? Yeah, of course, it's 4 to 2. What? Well, how do you know that? Oh, wait, did I say 4 2? I meant 5 2. Blake Lazat just netted his second of the game. Let's go, Huskies! All right, but how, how do you know this? All you have to do is follow KVSC Hockey. They tweet live from all the Husky games. That's unreal. Do they only update the scores? No, they don't only update you about the scores. They also update you on penalties, and they're even interactive with all the fans that tweeted them during the games. That's crazy. How do I get in on that action? So, all you have to do is follow KVSC Hockey on Twitter, and you can be in on the action today. I think I know who's getting my next follow. Return now by UMC. Omen dumps it over on two. Tying the game at 25. Omen, do the thing you do so well. Back to one shot, scores. Jimmy Murray buries it. And the Huskies are back up five to four. And I'll do it. Huskies win the first ever North Star Cup. You enjoy listening to St. Cloud State sports coverage as much as the sports department enjoys bringing it to you. And where else are you going to find top-notch coverage of St. Cloud State hockey, football, basketball, and volleyball, or the award-winning shows like Husky Sports Friday? And none of it would be possible without your donations. Your donations help pay for new equipment that we use to improve the quality and increase the quantity of the games that we bring to you. And you can donate anytime by going to kvsc.org and clicking on the Donate tab. You're live in five, four, Oh, sounds like it's time for me to get to work. Welcome into Husky Studios. This is Husky Sports Friday. And I'll do it. Huskies win the first ever North Star Cup. KVSC is looking for new volunteers in our sports department. If you love sports and want an opportunity to get closer to your favorite teams, the KVSC Sports Department is the place for you. Kozla, back up to Proud. Big slaps on scores. Goal number two for Ethan Proud. By joining the KVSC Sports Department, you will not only receive a great addition to your resume, but you will meet the future of the industry and gain on-the-job experience in broadcasting. I think he has taken over not necessarily a leadership role, but, but the role as the focal point on the team, and I think the team does know that. For more information on how to join KVSC, you can call us at 320-308-3066 or visit our website, kvsc.org. Get the ball on the advance, has an open three for the record. Goal! 
KDSC Sports Department. Get in the game. Tune into your sports alternative every Friday at 4.30 p.m. for Husky Sports Friday. Husky Sports Friday is an award-winning weekly program that focuses on all St. Cloud State sports. We preview and recap games, interview coaches and athletes, and shed light on all the stories surrounding your favorite Huskies teams. You know, just Jaden's been swinging the bat really well all season, and uh, for a first-year player, you know, the potential is so huge for her. And, you know, I keep asking her, are you nervous? And she's like, I'm not nervous. And she just gets in there, and she just hammered the ball. That's Husky Sports Friday on KVSC. Were you there when the Huskies football team beat the UMD Bulldogs in their final seconds of the game? No? Then you missed this. Now back to the right, to the near side, he's got one! He's got it! He's got it! Then you might be interested in being a part of the sports team on KBSC 88.1 FM. KBSC Sports is involved in broadcasting games like football, hockey, and baseball. Stewart rumbles his way into the end zone. Fell down in the middle. They score. You can also be involved with some great interviews with coaches. I'm joined by men's hockey coach Bob Matzko. I'm here with cross country and track and field coach Eric Hannenberger. Coach of the year, Steve Costanzo. You learn how to read and write sports stories. For more information on becoming a member of the KBSC Sports Team, log on to their website, kbsc.org. KBSC Sports, be a part of the game. You're listening to the number one source of St. Cloud State University Sports, Husky Sports Friday on KBSC. Both teams at full strength. Ray Camp along the slot, tries to pull one in, arm is up, and it's David Foley's shot and a goal! Two seconds remaining in the first period. Huskies increase their lead to two to nothing. Sports, get ready for fireworks! Boom! Right, block, two in and slam! Samson committing the attack error, and that is the first set! That St. Cloud State has won against Concordia since September of 2007. Unbelievable! We have interviews with coaches and players from all around the Husky Sports Network. Right now, I am joined with the head coach of the St. Cloud State University wrestling team, Steve Costanzo. Joined by St. Cloud State Huskies head football coach, Scott Underwood. KBSC Sports Director with Johnny Brodzinski from the St. Cloud State hockey team. It's Husky Sports Friday on your sound alternative, 88.1 FM, KBSC, St. Cloud. You're listening to the KVSC Sports Stream, and we've got all your favorite shows. Is Richmond, Virginia attractive to more to attractive Michigan than Mankato? Okay. Fargo, North. Who wants to go to Fargo, North Dakota? Personalities. Boom shakalaka. Let's go. Wow, that was that was interesting. And classic Husky moments you could ever dream of. Tries to bang it off. He does. Joey Bennett likes the lamp for the Huskies again. Another one for St. Cloud State. They lead four to nothing. Return now by UMC. Holman dumps it over on two. Tying the game at 25. Holman, do the thing you do so well. To Kenny Walker. Kenny Walker inside the five. Walker all the way. Touchdown, St. Cloud State. So for the best sports coverage in the Granite City, be sure to tune in to the KBSC Sports Stream, where it's all Huskies all the time. Nolan Walker shoots bar down, Nolan Walker. He's got two now on the evening, and the Huskies, just like that, take the lead back. Looking for your fill of St. Cloud State sports action? He finds Roberts in the left corner. His three is up and good. Another one. All your favorite St. Cloud State sports can be found at KVSC, Radio X, and the KVSC Sports Stream. In the slot momentarily, and the Huskies score. Coming this Friday at 12.30, The Undertaker and John Cena. Wait, what did you say, Drew? This headlining event is at KVSC Studios. No, Drew, that's when Sidelines is on. Did you really try to schedule a main event during Sidelines right here on KVSC? Sidelines? Yeah, where we talk about things like... Ryan Suter's patience as a D-man are what makes him in the top five of the NHL. Or... He's got all the talent in the world in weapons. So then why aren't they in the playoffs? And once Carson Wentz got hurt, I just assumed it was a... 
home field advantage all the way through to the Super Bowl. For the I Vikings. did it as well. Yep. Because there's, I don't see them winning. You can catch all of this live every Friday at 12:30 only on Pay Per View. Drew, cut it with the wrestling promo. Sidelines isn't on Pay Per View. It's right here on 88.1 FM KBSC every Friday at 12:30. Hey Thomas, I want to listen to the Huskies volleyball match today, but I don't know where to go. Can you help me out? Of course, Brooks. You can find the Huskies all season long on the KVSC Sports stream. Just go to kvsc.org backslash sports and click at the link at the top of the screen. Awesome. I can't wait to hear my favorite team get the win. Set over by Ulibarri, set Torby, left pin swing. Oh my goodness, Lindsay Rachel. Shooting on to six. Finds the floor and St. Cloud State leads 19 to 13. Now quick set, Torby, Dyer, get out of the way! Mike and Iyer thumping it home. Micah picks up her fifth kill on eight swings. Quick to Volso! Shooting out a six from the middle, a good set by Maddie Torby and Mara Volso. Finds another kill, it's 12 to 10. for St. Cloud State Volleyball, and you're listening to the KVSC Sports Stream. Oh, my God. Caleb, I can't find the score of the Husky game anywhere. Do you know what the score is? Yeah, of course. It's 4-2. What? Well, how do you know that? Oh, wait. Did I say 4-2? I meant 5-2. Blake Lazach just netted his second of the game. Let's go Huskies. All right, but how, how do you know this? All you have to do is follow KVSC Hockey. They tweet live from all the Husky games. That's unreal. Do they only update the scores? No, they don't only update you about the scores. They also update you on penalties, and they're even interactive with all the fans that tweet at them during the game. That's crazy. How do I get in on that action? So, all you have to do is follow KVSC Hockey on Twitter, and you can get in on the action today. I think I know who's getting my next follow. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 97.5 Radio X. Husky volleyball about to get underway. Bit of a longer break there as we just had to go through the senior the senior night celebrations. Erno Jaworski alongside Adam Larson. Adam, this this is going to be a fun one. Earnhardt, let's play some volleyball, man. I, you know, it, it was getting kind of emotional there. during. It the, was getting a little emotional. Dur dur during the, uh, the, se the senior sayings, if you will. A couple of seniors getting a little red in the face there. Yeah. You, I yeah. was getting a little And that's getting one getting thing, you know, that, that kind of factors in, in into the uh, benefit of Mana. You know, this is a really emotional day. So, you know, you kind of you're going through all these things mm -hmm. mentally. Um, so let's let's see let's see if uh, let's see if St. Cloud can keep their heads about them. Yeah, your starters for St. Cloud is going to be Zimmerman, Kern, Rachel Kirshner, Foley, Rossi, and Barron. And for the Beavers, it'll be Kendall Braun, Alexandra Kuntz, Haley Wathan, Jenna Palin, Emily Kotenelkoff, Lucia Mercoloni, and Taylor Wyatt. And right off the bat, it will be Mercoloni out of get this, Adam Grandera, Italy. Dara, Italy. Ooh. Ooh. Sophomore setter Foley's going to dig this out. Baron crosses. Rachel with the floater. Beavers keeping it alive. Braun dumps it over. Kirshner. Baron backs it. Feeds Rachel. That's 21 away. Now Lindsay Rachel gets the Huskies on the board right away. You know, just keep counting them down, Earnhardt. So we were asked by head coach Chad Bregelman before the game. Keep us, keep us. Keep us in, in check. Foley slaps one over. Beavers keep it up. Braun over to Coons. Foley, Baron back set. Zimmerman deflects off. Beavers keep it alive. Coons slaps it over. Kern digs this out. Baron crosses. Rachel deflected. Pops back up. Great play. Foley back to Rachel with another roll shot. Wathan back set. Mercoloni blocked by Sam Zimmerman up front. Beavers keep it up. Dumped over, Foley, Zimmerman, 
Rachel picks the back corner. Braun can't move over in time. I believe that is 20 now, Mr. That Earnhardt. is 20. Yes, that is 20. We're almost down into the teens, man. We We're might be a part of history right here, might Earnhardt. It's very exciting. We might be. Rossi going to have a service ace as Wayton can't control it. Phoebe Rossi. 12 service aces on the year now for the six foot senior. 6'2". Six 6'2". Two. Six two. Don't, six don't, two don't do her like that, Earnhardt. Come on, man. <laughs> Mercoloni backs that roll shot. Rossi can't get up in time. Or get down in time, I should say, as Awaithin puts the Beavers on the board. Awaithin won the medley relay uh, in South Dakota while she was in high school. Yeah, and what did I say in the pregame? It's either going to be the middle or it's going to be the back line. That's where the Huskies have been susceptible so far this year. Awaithin did a good job at finding it there. Sedova serves up. Lindsay Rachel just inside. Blocked by Jenna Palin on a plumber, Minnesota. As well, Lindsay Rachel, she she didn't really have anywhere to go with that one. It, it doesn't, but I just want to point out, there are so many just fun names here in the state of Minnesota. Plumber, right, you know, right and there. And Lindsay Rachel, there's number 19. 19, man. Number three, but she's 19 away now. 19 away, yes. Thank you for clarifying that for everybody. I'd be know. impressed if Lindsay Rachel had 19 kills and there's only four points on the board. Math doesn't add up there. Barron's going to serve up with some pace on it. She gets an ace as... Victoria Sedova can't connect. Yep, and that's 14 aces on the year now for Miss Barron. And Emma Barron, I'm going to be really biased here. She got snubbed for NSIC freshman of the year. Back set. Mercoloni Foley's going to dig this out. Barron short set. Zimmerman dug out. Braun gets it back over Foley. Collect. Barron back set. Here's home with a fiery swing to the floor. Alma goes after Sedova. Yeah, Holman did a good job. Just pounded that one into the and dirt. And that's where, that's where she finds, that's her money. That's her wheelhouse right there on the right pin. And it's going to be another ace for uh, Baron. Baron. Yep. Just like that, 7-2 here early on. 7 for St. Cloud. early. Baron steps up, gets it over. Braun, Mercoloni crosses. Koontz blocked. Zimmerman diving save. Kirshner full. Rachel's on the floor. Zimmerman gets it back over. Coots blocked. Zimmerman diving save. Kirshner. Barron sets it back for Holman. Beavers. Here's Kotenelkoff. That's going to be just in as the Huskies come back from the brink, but they can't get the point on the board. And let me tell you something. Mercoloni made a fantastic reverse yeah. set there. That, that, that was one of the best sets I have seen all year. Foley's going to dig this serve out. Barron crosses. Rachel, that's 18. Number nope. four is four on the board. Yeah, four on the board indeed, and that is indeed 18. I mean, that thing that, that thing had some fire behind it as now she is going to serve. Let's see if she can pick herself up an ace. Mercoloni set up for Wyatt. Barron sets up. Holman finds the gap. Just like that, Holman now. I mean, she's got two kills on the day, and, and just like that, I mean, it's 9-3 to three now. And how many times have we said, Earnhardt, that it is key for this St. Cloud State Husky team to get off to an early lead and build up a little bit of an advantage? Go title cut. Over the two, it's blocked by Holman and Zimmerman. Gets the door slammed in her face. And just like that, you know, Shaq could dunk, but Shaq could also block Shaq, some shots. And Shaq Zimmerman the did Shaq it on that Zimmerman. one. Light serve by Rachel Kotenelkoff. High set. Foley sets up, picks the back corner. Sedoma throws her hands up in frustration as she can't believe that one got by her. And just like that, a timeout is going to be taken there by Minot State. Yeah, head coach Alex Lee Hockey, I believe in her fourth year, her first with Minot State. Going to take a timeout as her Beavers their uh, their dam is getting deconstructed right in front of them. 
It, it is indeed, and you know what? Another piece of merch. We got to talk to uh, Coach Bregman. It is <laughs> late in the year, I know, but we got to get the merch out to the people. We're right there on that last point. I mean, the Huskies were lucky because that, you know, that ball was sailing out towards us on the sidelines, and Keeley Kirshner went after it, and you could hear Bregelman uh, on the floor saying, no, 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 let it go. But, you know, they, they walk away with the point as Foley finds the, uh, you know, the back the back line there. And with that 11-3 now, the Huskies find themselves with an eight-point advantage early on. Huskies going to come out of the timeout, see what they can do here. Good crowd on hand, plenty of students. A couple of Dog Pound members doing the Macarena, as per usual, as that group does. Shout out Carl Gunner, man. Carl Gunner, I believe he'll be on the call tomorrow. He will. He will be on the call tomorrow. I'll be back in the cities. Lindsay Rachel. Mercoloni to Kuntz. Diving save. Kirshner. Barron throws it over to Foley, who terminates it. And Fo Foley once again fired off one of her classic fastballs right there. And uh, I would not be surprised if somebody's thumb knuckle is hurting after that one. Lindsay Rachel slaps another one over. Sedova. High set. Mercoloni throws it over. And the Italian catches the Huskies off guard. Get goals. Uh, that's what Mercoloni had the St. Cloud defense saying right there. For those of you that don't know, Kekos uh, is, a is a Italian, I believe. I'm for, half Italian. For well, what? I can't speak a lick of it. So. Um, shout out to Family Guy for teaching me that one. <laughs> McCauley serves this up. Barron back set. Zimmerman there. Always on the bleachers. Sedova. And that's going to be outside the pin as Coots couldn't get that one back. And, you know, just like that, I mean, St. Cloud did a really good job getting my knot out of system right there. And now, once again, up by nine, 13 to four. And Kirshner is going to serve here. Oh, chips it off the net. McCauley back set for Wyatt. Rachel can't dive over. Yeah, Kirshner kind of got caught there. She kind of got caught down on her knees because it was a very, uh, you know, low kill attempt right there, and it kind of just died on her as she tried to set that one back up. And now T. Beckel will serve the hometown Minot native playing for her school. Rachel. Barron up the middle. Rossi with the floater. She gets on the board. And all the seniors are getting involved now. All the seniors are indeed. And you know, at Rossi at 6'2", you're thinking power. But so many times this season, we've seen her just go just with that soft fist. touch. Yeah, yep. just soft touch, just killing it right over the net there. And now the surgeon, Emily Kern, steps in. McCauley feeds over for Kylie Kuntz. Barron throws it over. Foley throwing it down. As that one's in the bleachers, Beckel runs it down. And the Beavers get it back over. Current. Barron fully up the middle. Watch your head. Watch your head, McCauley right there. She had to she had to do a little check as that one came in Foley just over jumping her up, left shoulder. Fully jumping up, tickling the rafters here. Yeah. Now back. Yeah. Current now to tee up. Second on the team and aces a set. She's going to go long here. Beavers get another one on the board. It will be Kendall Braun to serve, also out of Minot. Yeah, and with that, I mean, it's 15-6 now, so still a nine-point advantage here for St. Cloud. Rachel's going to dig this out. Barron throws it back. Rossi lines up right pin, rockets it to the floor. Yeah, that's a right pin rocket right there from the native of Rocket City. Is it Rocket City? Rapid City. Rapid City, all right. As nice as that would sound. I'm trying to make too many things sound good right now. Earnhardt. McCauley goes back door for Kuntz. Kirshner digs it out. And now Kirshner will dump it back. Beckel. McCauley. Ross with the block up front. Palin meets a dead end. Yeah, anytime you joust with 6-2, uh, you're liable to end up on the wrong side of it. That's 5-8 right going there. against 6-2. Yeah, that, that doesn't not work gonna, out very often. Yeah, you are not going to have a good time. Not unless you have supreme leaping ability, as that one, I believe, is going to be a service error that on the Huskies. Holy, just long. It was an awkward pass on serve receive for the Beavers, but it's going to work out. And Lucia Mercoloni back in. Has 11 service aces on the year. Kirshner, Barron with a low set. Rachel has to jump from the three meter line and she's gonna be blocked by the Beavers. Yeah, and Barron's saying my bad on that one. She kind of threw it back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she threw it back a little bit too far and Rachel could not get that run to start that she is so accustomed to. 
Rachel will dig this out. Barron, better set, Rachel throws one back down. Kirshner calls. Barron, back to Rachel. Was that in? No. Bregelman, he might challenge this here. He's going to challenge it. And Bregelman says there was a big touch. And Bregelman, Adam, and I know you weren't there last week, and Bregelman won three challenges last three. week. Three. Maybe even four if I'm correct. But he had plenty of challenge wins against Northern State, one of them in extra time that kept the play going, and the Huskies got the next two points to win the match. Well, we've seen Coach Regelman too, so often this season, not just uh, knowing when to use his challenges, but knowing how. You know, sometimes he, he'll take a challenge knowing you're guaranteed to, um, and he'll use that kind of to save his timeouts within the set. So, I mean, Coach Regelman right here, I mean, it did look like that one might have been deflected, but we will see. We'll see what uh, the people down in the dungeon at the replay booth uh, she'll have for the referees. And we'll find out when we come back from the short break here on 97.5 or Radio X Husky Volleyball. We'll be back. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! The following athletic contest is underway, courtesy of St. Cloud State Athletics. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 97.5 Radio X and the NSIC Sports Stream as the Huskies are currently posing for a photo during the replay review here. They're having a good time. Adam, your big key is to have fun right now. The six players on the court for the Huskies are having a great time. You know, it, like I've said uh, many times on here, it's easy to get caught up um, in expectation when you're a great team, you know, and, and you know, great teams harbor great expectations. Um, and sometimes, as we know, uh, you know, expectations and pressure can, uh, you know, break pipes or make diamonds. And, you know, against the uh, the top teams in this conference. St. Cloud hasn't really done Granted, or Saint performed uh, as they have wanted to. They are still 21 and five. Still they're 0 and five against teams in the top seven. Yep, in the top but, hey, seven. They are 21 and 0 against teams outside the top seven. Yeah, literally, yes. Yeah. So it looks like the uh, replay is gonna be done here. Let's see what the referee is gonna call here. Ooh, it was an unsuccessful really? challenge. So norm I'm going to point something out here. Normally, when the referee calls the calls the point for the other team, he'll stand on the other side of the court. So I was thrown off there, but it will be Mercaloni, Mercaloni, excuse me, to serve back up. Rachel's going to dig that out. She shanks it. And it's going to be an ace again for the Italian. Yep, and how many times have we seen it with those replay reviews? That stoppage of play, it really kills any momentum by both teams. So right now, 17-10, the Huskies only lead by seven here. This is really going to work in the favor of Minot. Mercury Lerny serves up Rachel. Better dig. Baron backs at Rossi. D Braun. Here's Wathan blocked by Rossi up front. Didn't get a whole lot on it. That ball bounced almost, almost tight roped and fell back over to the Husky side. Yeah, that thing was sneaking along the, t the top of the net there for about a, a good two or three inches, but eventually it falls for St. Cloud, and now Rossi is going to serve this one. Rossi gets one over. That's just in as Braun. And I both thought it was out. Rossi picked that back corner. That's two serves aces for Phoebe Rossi. You know, it was really close. I thought that one had a chance to stay on the line, but as you said, you know, depending on where your point of view was, that thing looked like it might have been going out. For Coloni, high set for Kotownkov. She finds the floor. And Rossi, she's now halfway to breaking a career high of serve aces in a match with four. Yeah. She now has two. Will be Victoria Sedovic now to serve out of Bratislava, Slovakia. Slovakia. That is well on the other side of the planet. Baron, Rachel kept back up. Kirshner, Baron throwing it back to Rachel, who goes for the face of Mercoloni and 18. Dear Lord, watch your head, Mercoloni. That uh, <laughs> that thing was coming in hot. And uh, did you say 18 officially? I believe so. Or is so. it 17? I think 17. My math is wrong. Beavers get this one back over. Barron. Rachel blocked fully. Can't slide over. 
And right there, you know, Minot kind of got lucky there because both I of those blockers left a big gap in between. Well, them. I thought it was going to be a four touch as Rachel never touched that ball. But nonetheless, we're going to keep going T. Beckel to serve fully. Barron can't run that down. It's going to be an ace for Beckel. As a team, Minot State, they average 1.13 service aces a set. It's bottom of the conference, but they're doing well here so far. They're serving aggressively, fully. Barron low set, Holman. Sadova bounces it back to Coons. Kirshner. Barron it, throwing it to Foley up the middle. Sadova. Mercoloni back to Coons. She's blocked by Zimmerman, but it's out. Yeah, and right there, I mean, she took a really good angle on that one, did, did Coots, you know, coming up the left side. It looked like she took that hit out of bounds, so she knew that, you know, if the angle is correct, that that thing was going out of bounds, and just like that, Minot, 20 to 14, only trail by six. Speaking of six, Lindsay Rachel, 16 away now. She throws that over. I feel like I'm saying throw a lot. I gotta find a new word here. Well, we haven't been able to call thunk, but there really hasn't there been hasn't any been good thunk. thunks, yeah. Phoebe Rossi's not on the court, no thunks. Rachel Sadova. Mercaloni tried to throw it over. That's gonna work as Taylor Wyatt got another piece of it before that ball got over. Yeah, I mean, Merkel. That was weird. It, that, that was, I mean, Merkel only literally with just a straight line push over to Wyatt. And, you know, that Wyatt was going to make it pay off, yeah. Barron, back set. There's Zimmerman up high off of McCauley. Braun, Koontz, Roller, Barron, Rachel. Fully with a roller kept up by Braun. Sedova back over the Koontz, blocked, hit the pin. Will be Beaver point 21-16 here. Yeah, Minot State is making this interesting right now. And what did I say in the pregame? It's, th it's that they've been able to find free points off of the blocks here from St. Cloud. They are taking really good angles on these kill attempts. Foley, gonna dicks out, Barron. Addition to Foley, kept up by Sedova. McCauley over to Koontz, throws that over Kirchner. Barron fully detonates one. And it's gonna be a net touch on the Beavers. Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> detonated. Foley, yeah, fully detonated on that one. And Braun took it right in the chest. I'm surprised she's still up over there. I mean, that, that would drop any person down to a knee just to catch their breath. And now Keeley Kirshner will dish up here. Low surf, Sedova awkward, can't keep it up. Kirshner leads the team with service. Asa, that's number 35 on the year. Kirshner currently Seventh in the NSIC in service aces a set, also eighth in digs per set. Kershaw, that one's gonna get over back to back. She can't believe that one got over. You might as well call that one a knuckleball because that thing died mid-air and barely got over the net, like you said. And the Huskies set point here off of two aces by Kershaw. Can she make it three? No. Coons. Wakali. And that one's not gonna go anywhere. As the Huskies win it, 25-16, as just some miscommunication there by the Beavers. Well, yeah, let's update these stats right now, Arnar. Let's let's take and a look Lindsay at these. Lindsay Rachel, stats. six kills, so. 16. 16. Like you said. Yep. Lindsay Rachel, she is chipping the win when we come back after the break here in 97.5 Radio X and the NSIC Sports Stream. It'll be set two for Husky Volleyball. Coming this Friday at 12.30, The Undertaker and John Cena. Wait, what did you say, Drew? This headlining event is at KVSC Studios. No, Drew, that's when Sidelines is on. Did you really try to schedule a main event during Sidelines right here on KVSC? Sidelines? Yeah, where we talk about things like... Ryan Suter's patience as a D-man are what makes him in the top five of the NHL. Or... He's got all the talent in the world in weapons. So then why aren't they in the playoffs? And... Once Carson Wentz got hurt, I just assumed it was a home field advantage all the way through to the Super Bowl. For the I Vikings. did it as well. Yep. Because there's, I don't see them winning. You can catch all of this live every Friday at 1230 only on pay-per-view. Drew, cut it with the wrestling promo. Sidelines isn't on pay-per-view. It's right here on 88.1 FM KVSC every Friday at 1230. 
You're listening to the number one source of St. Cloud State University Sports, Husky Sports Friday on KVSC. Both teams at full strength. Ray Camp along the slot, tries to pull it in, arm is up, and it's David Crawley, shot, and a goal! Two seconds remaining in the first period. Huskies increase their lead to two to nothing. Four, get ready for fireworks! Boom! Right block, two in and slam! Samson committing the attack error, and that is the first set! That St. Cloud State has won against Concordia since September of 2007. Unbelievable! We have interviews with coaches and players from all around the Husky Sports Network. Right now, I am joined with the head coach of the St. Cloud State University wrestling team, Steve Costanzo. Joined by St. Cloud State Huskies head football coach, Scott Underwood. KVSC Sports Director with Johnny Brodzic from the St. Cloud State hockey team. It's Husky Sports Friday on your sound alternative, 88.1 FM, KVSC, St. Cloud. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 97.5 Radio X and the NSIC, NSIC Sports Stream for Husky Volleyball. Earnhardt Jaworski, Adam Larson on the call. And after set one, Lindsay Rachel, 16 kills away from first all time. The Huskies had six service aces in that set, Adam. Yeah, I mean, you look across the board, I mean, they're nearly doubling might not stayed up in kills 15 to 8 assists 15 to 8 they are tripling them in service aces uh, 6 to 2 if I'm reading that correctly yep 6 to 2 Three so times 2 is 6 well th thank goodness I can you know <laughs> math is hard stats are easy man stats are easy math is hard I will stick math on that. air the worst okay yeah 100 percent but you know the Huskies so far you know they kind of Kind of hit one of those spots again uh, after the, uh, the the long intermission with the uh, challenge break. But, you know, they were able to find it again. Uh, Minot State got within 5, 21, 16, and then St. Cloud State rattled off four quick points to win by nine. But, you know, again, if you're St. Cloud, no easy night here, all right? Not not in this conference. There is no easy night, no matter the opponent. So they got to do a good job at once again coming out, starting hot here in set number two. And let's see if uh, they can continue to feed Lindsay Rachel. I would hope so. I know for Emma Barron, she's probably not like, she wants to pass everyone, but it has to be in the back of her head that one of her teammates is gonna break a big record and Kenzie Foley puts another service ace on the board for the Huskies. That's gonna be her first of the night, seventh for the team. Also, let's also point out with those uh, 14 assists in set number one, Emma Barron up to 944 assists Ooh. on the year. And it's gonna be a two touch by the Beavers to put the Huskies up by two. Kenzie Foley already has two aces in this one set. Remember down in Mankato when she, it looked like she was going for five straight. She got three on her way to four. Why going to throw one over Barron? Lindsay Rachel kept up by T. Beckel. McCauley shanks one off way thin out of Hill City, South Dakota. Yeah, yeah Waythen, I mean, just found the edge right there. The literal edge off the of Rossi's forearm. The literal edge off of Ross, Rossi, yeah, and she was able to sneak one past her off the uh, deflection. Looks like Mercoloni is going to serve here for Minot. A little bit of spin on it. Baron controls. Rachel up high off of Braun. Back set. Koontz, that's going to be out. Huskies get another one on the board. Yeah. I'm sorry, it was Waythen that went long there. And now it looks like Rossi is going to go back. Like you said, already has two service aces. Yes, on the she day. does. Well, you might Beckel. as well make it three. <laughs> Rossi you with might her as third. well make it three right there. She is closing and on setting the career high in service aces. And you wouldn't expect it out of a 6-2 middle blocker, but Rossi, she can, Rossi can do it all. She can indeed. The Swiss Army knife, if you have said multiple times, and that right there is going to be a uh, extreme net touch violation for Zam Zimmerman. She was trying. She's, <laughs> she's laughing yeah, it she, off. She was. She was. She, she was going to take some aggression out on that ball. Jump at the gun as a little deflected bit Deflected back over. Yeah. Zimmerman. She had a great weekend back in, last weekend playing against Moorhead, going back to her hometown. Fully throws one over. Baron can't win the joust. Kirshner. 
Rachel from the three meter line, she's blocked, keeps it alive though. Kern and Barron just dumps it back. McCauley, Kuntz. Huskies run into each other. Kirshner, Rachel kept it by Sedova. Back set, there's Kotenokov, she gets the floor. As uh, the, for Minot, they're going all over the place. Yeah, they a lot of misdirection. Yeah, they're not attacking the same place uh, twice, which is, you know, as any team should do. But yeah, uh, like you said, a lot of misdirection here. A as a good block there, I believe that was Coots on that one. Rachel goes cross court. She's down to 15, ladies and gentlemen. She's closing. She's closing. She is indeed, Earnhardt. I mean, 15. Like I said, I want to be a part of history here tonight, Ernie. As do I, Baron Sadova. Mercoloni thrown over by Kuntz. Baron throws it over to Rachel. That's up high. That's 14 now. And you know, I was going to say early on in the set, it seems like they were really trying to force the issue with Rachel. And, you what? know, you want to you let it happen organically. Otherwise, you know, you become way too predictable here. But it looks like another service or ace. Not, that's another ace. That one for Emma Baron. That's her third. Yeah. So here's the thing, Lindsay, so fully eight, it has eight swings. Holman has four swings, Rossi with three, Zimmerman with five. Lindsay Rachel has 19 swings on the night already. She has six kills, she's hitting 105, but man, is she pushing for that record. See, in basketball terms, Earnhardt, that is what we would call a volume shooter, all right? Yes. And a volume scorer. Braun, Foley, over to Rachel, but Braun's gonna dig this out. McCauley Coons with a nice roll shot, but Rachel's there. Baron back set for Holman, who just lasers one. Wow! Yeah, Holman, a Holman. Holman came from the backside there, and like you said, just lasers one just right lurk, to the back Just lurking in the shadows behind the near side official right in front of me. McKenna Holman, Rachel Coons. Mercoloni throws it up to Palin. Baron over to Foley. That's off the fingertips of the Beavers and Foley gets another one on the board here. Yep, and just like that, 9-4 now, a five point advantage here for St. Cloud. And it looks like Minot just gonna have a little chat there by the head coach as uh, Foley, no rather, Rachel is gonna serve this one over. Will be Alex Kuntz from the back line. She goes long, Alexander Kuntz and her sister Kylie, both out of Irville, Illinois. Kuntz and Wyatt both played volleyball, basketball, and softball back in Earlville. And Rachel, I thought she was going to get a service ace there, chipping it off the net. But the top of the net rejected it. 10 5. Yep, 10 5, like you said. So once again, you know, that, that's a free point that might not got right there. Let's see if they can take advantage of string to get a two or three quick points here. Will be Janae McCauley out of Clarkston, Michigan to serve up for the Beavers. Barron back set, Holman up high, Sedona. That's going to bounce off the basketball hoop there. McCauley, good read. And will be Kotanokov to get it back over. Barron right up the gut for Zimmerman and just left uncontested. Yeah, like you said, right up the gut there. Just a nice little short set. We see Emma Barron working a lot with all of her hitters on those short sets, just getting the timing right. And with that, uh, Rossi's gonna come in. Zimmerman will go out. Kirshner dishes up. McCauley back set for Palin. Rachel with a back set of her own for Foley. That's long. And I haven't seen that all year from Lindsay Rachel where she just ran that down and just decided to set it up. Hey, it's senior night, man. Why not? You wanna have a little fun here, all right? Try something new. Will it be Beckel now to serve? Foley up to Barron, short set, Rossi, that's what we love to see, that is tic-tac-toe. And let me tell you something, Rossi still caught that ball going up, so I mean, that instant change of direction, that's going to help that kinetic energy that that ball released as it hit the floor. And will be now Emily Kern out of Belgrade, Minnesota. Serves up that ball, that was a knuckleball, no spin on that. Will be Coons to get it back over, Braun, Rachel, Barron. Over to Foley with a roll shot, just a feathery light touch. 
Feathery light touch indeed, and let me tell you something, Foley is an expert at those roll shots. We see her doing it all the time here throughout the season and gets another point on that one. 13-6 now, St. Cloud State leads. Kern tries to go cross court, it's gonna go long. Kern really a deserving specialist, but in the last couple, we'll say the last month or so, she's gotten more time as just a defensive specialist. Worked out well. Barron runs this down, bumps it up fully. Can't believe it. I make a great grab. And the dog <laughs> loves it. <laughs> As good hands, good hands, Earnhardt. You could have been a receiver. I could have been. McCauley, back set coach, she's shut down by Lindsay, Rachel. And that goes as a block, not as a kill, correct? That goes down as a block. That, that's, a, that's a shame, that is a shame. But any, you know, life goes on 15-7 now, St. Cloud leads. Foley with some pace on her serve, will be waiting. Kirshner, Barron throwing it over to Lindsay, Rachel, that is way up high. Waithin runs it down right in front of us. Braun gets it back over. Barron just back to Rachel, heads up. That's gonna be over Adam and myself. I was not gonna that fall out of my chair this I was, week. I was hoping you weren't gonna grab that. There was I was no thinking way. about it. There was no <laughs> way was you were grabbing I was thinking about that. it, man. I was ready. Foley goes along just barely. 16-7 near Huskies lead here. 16-8, excuse me. As the magic number, I believe that's gonna be that's going to be 13 now 13. for Lindsay Rachel. Yep. I second guessed myself there. It will be Mercoloni. That's shanked. Rossi can't run it down. Off of Rachel. 16 9. 16 9 indeed. Yeah, just we've seen a couple of those so far from, from St. Cloud State today. You know, just a little bit of little bit of mishandling there. Uh, you know, on, on those uh, dig attempts out of the serve. Kurgan digs us out. Barron over to Rossi. Mercoloni runs it down. Waithin, which was a simple roll shot. Barron, thrown over to Rachel, why don't you? One hit an attempt by Wyatt. We're not gonna call that a funk because that was really more of an upward no, motion. No, and, and that, was, that was a backhand upward motion too, so she pushed that backwards. That, was, that was awkward. That's Works not out. easy, that is not easy to do. 16-10, Kirshner, Barron, up high, Ross with a floater. Pancake can't get there from Beckel. Rossi's cooking up. Yeah, Rossi is cooking, you know, and once again, she goes to that soft touch. And you know, early on in the season, early on in the season, I thought, you know, she, she should really go to the power game. Look at who we have checking in right here. Yeah. Natalie Tesh steps in for the second time all season. Natalie Tesh, she originally played down in Florida, and after one point, she rolled her ankle really badly. So she's been out, hasn't had a chance to play. Nice to see Tesh back in. Baron, over to right to the block is out. That is 12, ladies and gentlemen. That's 12, that, and that's that's 10 kills already on the day, as you can do the Lindsay math. Lindsay Rachel has double the amount of attempts than Kenzie Foley with 12. Yeah. Lindsay Rachel now has 25. Yeah. Have yourself a day. Pesh, nice serve. Mercoloni throwing it over to Kokettletop, who's blocked by Barron, who just thwarts it away. And those are the two freshmen right there, Barron and Zimmerman going up for that block. 19 to 10 now, St. Cloud State leads. Tesh out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Gonna get this over, Kotenokoff. Mercoloni up the gut, Waithin. That shanks off of Zimmerman Foley with cement in her shoes, doesn't slide over. Yeah, well, it kind of took a weird angle off of the block there by Barron and Zimmerman. It, it changed angles quickly, and it just went to the left to Kenzie Foley. Will be. Waithin to deliver the service error, 20 to 11 here. As Kern steps out, Holman's in, Natalie, I'm sorry. Elena Shimon. Elena Shimon steps in. Yep, so now you got, you got two setters out there right now for St. Cloud. Two potential setters, I should say. As I believe that's what Minot runs up, 2-4, Waithin. Mercoloni, there's Kotanokov block and go out off of Rachel and Zimmerman. Everyone getting involved, we see Tesh step out. Kirshner back in. 
Yeah, good run there, though, by Tesh. Really, really good. Get really some, good job of some, setting everybody up. Yep, yeah. Get some sets in. As Braun puts some force on this one, but she can't get it over the net. Braun, 5'3", struggled with a little bit of height there. Hey, it's not about the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size it's of the, the fight, fight and the, the dog. dog. <laughs> Lindsay Rachel gets one over. Short set is Mercoloni. Doesn't catch. Kroski's off guard. It's going to be a two touch by Shimon. And Shimon just a little quick on the draw there. A little bit, yeah. And it will be wholesale changes for the Beavers. And it looks like Minot has reached their uh, sub limit here for the set. Will be McCauley to serve. Shimon back set for Holman who just howitzer. Howitzers this one. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that one might be your weakest one of that's the season. Yeah. But that's okay. You know, it, 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 it's bound to happen, man. With so, with so much good stuff, you know, you're bound to have one slip up. It happens to everybody. Kirshner are going to have another service ace as that's going to be number 10 on the night. That is that right? It might be. So it I have might to update be my stats here. I'll have to wait and see. Wait it. McCauley over to Koontz. Kept up by Rossi Holman. Diving save. Shimon over to Foley. That's in the bleachers. That, that, <laughs> that thing had some speed you on weren't, it. You weren't going to grab that one. Husky's on set point here. I definitely was not going to grab that one. That, that thing went straight over my head and I let it. Kirshner. Wait it. McCauley, and it was too far behind Jenna Palin. And that's two sets in a row where Minot, they have an error. And the Huskies will go up 2-0. Here on 97.5 Radio X and the NSIC Sports Stream. Yeah, and right there, you know, like we talked about, a much better set there for St. Cloud. Really controlled it from the jump, never let go. And, uh, you know, with that, we are on to set number three, Earnhardt. And before we go, Lindsay Rachel, 10 kills on the night, 26 attempts, doubles Kenzie Foley's of 13. And I just find that I just find that really funny. They, we everyone knows she's hunting for it. Why not feed her? Yeah, and I mean, so far, you know, 12, 12 to it. You know, you got 12, 12 away. It, 12 away, and I, I think I actually think it's plausible that she can get 12. Oh, I think she's hitting set. it tonight. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, ladies and gents, when we come back here on 97.5 Radio X and the NSA City Sports Stream, we'll see if the Huskies can close out the Beavers. We'll be back. Nolan Walker shoots bar down. Nolan Walker. He's got two now on the evening, and the Huskies, just like that, take the lead back. Looking for your fill of St. Cloud State sports action? He finds Roberts in the left corner. His three is up and good. Another one. All your favorite St. Cloud State sports can be found at KVSC, Radio X, and the KVSC Sports Stream. In the slot momentarily, and the Huskies score! And I'll do it. Huskies win the first ever North Star Cup. KVSC is looking for new volunteers in our sports department. If you love sports and want an opportunity to get closer to your favorite teams, the KVSC Sports Department is the place for you. Kozla, back up to Proud. Big slam shot scored. Goal number two for Ethan Proud. By joining the KVSC Sports Department, you will not only receive a great addition to your resume, but you will meet the future of the industry and gain on-the-job experience in broadcasting. I think he has taken over, not on this a leadership role but but the role as the focal point on the team and I think the team does know that. For more information on how to join KVSC you can call us at 320-308-3066 or visit our website kvsc.org. Gets the ball on the advance has an open three for the record. Goal baby! Lexi Peterman has 41. The KVSC Sports Department. Get in the game. 
in to your sports alternative every Friday at 4.30 p.m. for Husky Sports Friday. Husky Sports Friday is an award-winning weekly program that focuses on all St. Cloud State sports. We preview and recap games, interview coaches and athletes, and shed light on all the stories surrounding your favorite Huskies teams. You know, just Jaden's been swinging the bat really well all season, and uh, for a first-year player, you know, the potential is so huge for her. And, you know, I keep asking her, are you nervous? And she's like, I'm not nervous. And she just gets in there, and she just hammered the ball. That's Husky Sports Friday on KVSC. Were you there when the Huskies football team beat the UMD Bulldogs in their final seconds of the game? No? And you missed this. Now back to the right, to the near side, he's got one! He's got it! He's got it! Then you might be interested in being a part of the sports team on KBSC 88.1 FM. KBSC Sports is involved in broadcasting games like football, hockey, and baseball. Stewart rumbles his way into the end zone. Fell down in the middle. They score. You can also be involved with some great interviews with coaches. I'm joined by men's hockey coach Bob Matzka. I'm here with cross country and track and field coach Eric Hannenberger. Coach of the year Steve Costanzo. To learn how to read and write sports stories. For more information on becoming a member of the KBSC sports team, log on to their website, kbsc.org. KBSC Sports, be a part of the game. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Husky Volleyball here on 97.5 Radio X and the NSIC Sports Stream. Earnhardt, Michael Jaworski, and Adam Larson on the call here tonight. Adam, after two, Lindsay Rachel, she's 12 kills away from first all time, and the Huskies already have 10 aces. 10. 10. That is double digits right there. All right, through two sets. You know, that, that again, you know, it, it speaks to how well this team uh, is, is playing, especially in that last set, like I said, they controlled the flow of the game a lot better, uh, a lot better, I should say. Uh, didn't really give the Beavers any chance to string together con nope. uh, a good string of consecutive points. I think they held them to two, maybe three at most at one point. Um, but yeah, really took control in that second set. Let's see, let's see if we can see an astronomical number here. 12 kills in one set. I mean, if if I'm Lindsay Rachel, I'm talking to Emma Barron during the intermission and be like, you are only passing it to me. Well, I don't, I don't think Lindsay Rachel had to say that. I, th I think that's Coach Bregelman uh, conversation. I think Bregelman let him know, hey, we're, we're, we're 12 away, all right? Definitely, you know, try to mix it up, but just realize that number four, number four needs to get it, all right? I already have lined up what I'm going to say, so. I. You keep that in your back pocket, it's, man. It is, in my, it is in the back pocket of my back pocket. As we wait for everything to get underway here, here at the house of Husky Volleyball, we could dare we say the cathedral of Husky uh, Volleyball. Not the cathedral. Not the man. cathedral. This, it may be brick by brick, but it is not a cathedral, all right? This <laughs> is a house. Fair enough. The house of Husky Volleyball. Handled that call. Michelone chips off of Foley. She was going to let that one by, but it was just too little too late there for Foley. It's going to be an ace for Michelone. As the Beavers get on the board first here in set three. Marcoloni gets that over. Foley. Baron Rossi with the thunk, kept up by Coons. Here's Totenelkoff. Baron up to Rossi, right up the gut. It's a smash mouth volleyball. Smash mouth volleyball indeed. And once again, you know, watch your head, my not, because, I mean, th these hits are coming there's in some, fast. There's some fury. meteor strikes yes, coming they, down. they are. Foley punches one over. Kuntz, Mercoloni, Wathen, Kernan, Kirshner combined. Lindsay, Rachel, she's blocked, but it's out. That is number 11. 11 to 11 go. Away. Yep, 11 to go, 11 away. Well, actually, that is 11. It's 11 and 11. Yep. Halfway there. Foley gets that over. Braun backs up. Mercoloni shanks off Barron. Kirshner. Up, Rachel with a roll shot, diving save. Will be go Tanelkoff, and it's going to be off of the block of Rachel. Beavers get it all tied up. 
Yes, yeah, so right there, uh, you know, a nice nice short volley there, but Minot able to get one past Rachel. And for, and and for Minot, they're not a bad team. It's just that, it's just unfortunate that they're in one of the best conferences, uh, the best conference in volleyball, yeah. volleyball, D2 volleyball, and Lindsay Rachel, she's 10 away. Big 10, big 10, yep. As you can see, the smoke trails still coming down by the left pin there. In, in the words of uh, now known as Sean Spears, uh, his, as his former a, uh, WWE personality would say, well, first of all, we get, we got to say Rossi got another service ace, but uh, as Sean Spears would say, a perfect 10. Phoebe Rossi just tied a career high in service aces with four. Sadova. Marcoloni, Koontz, Koontz throws it back over, Rossi, Barron, fully from the 10-foot line, that's gone, My balances goodness. off of Sedova in My the third goodness. row. It didn't look like she put all that much behind it, but that thing was a rocket, and it, it bounced into the fourth Phoebe row. Phoebe Rossi leads the team in service aces with four on the night. Rossi throws this one over, Koontz, Marcoloni, it's a two-touch, that's up high. Chad Breglin makes a phenomenal grab. He could have been a wide out too. He, he could have been, but let me tell you something. That was really a one-handed grab right there. He had his, you know, little, uh, I want to say it's a notebook. Maybe it's a clipboard. I don't know what he's it's got. A, it might there. be both, honestly. I don't know what he's got. Anyway, 6-2 St. Cloud leads here. Rossi, Mercoloni over to Alex Kuntz. She just threads the needle there. Husky's a little, a little surprised. 6-3 now for St. Cloud. I think it's going to be T. Beckel to serve. Yes, it will. Gets that one over fully. Baron, Lindsay, Rachel kept up by Mercoloni. Sedova over to Kurtz. That's back over. No, there's just no room to work with. Now Rachel hit that and it got deflected. For the people at home, is that considered a kill? Bregelman's talking to our... SID Thomas breaching, trying to mark it up. We'll see. Barron can't chase that one down. And that was another line drive set there to Wyatt, and she exploded on it. I don't think Rachel's going to get credit for that kill as much as Bregelman and the rest of St. Cloud State nope. She's wants still, it. Yep, still at 12. So 10. Still at 10. 10 is the number to get to. Going to be dished over by McCauley. It goes long. And I'm currently just trying to think of famous sports athletes that have worn number 10. Nothing to come to mind at the moment. Rachel gets one over. Braun. There's Kuhn. She's blocked by Zimmerman. Beavers keep it up. Thrown over. Rachel. Baron up the middle. Zimmerman. Braun. McCauley runs it down, short set to Wyatt. She wallops it, but it goes long. Now that one did go long. She put a little bit too much mustard behind that one. And with that 9-4 now, St. Cloud leads this one. Rachel gets it over. Almost an ace, Beavers get it back. Kirshner. Bears a short set, home and diving save. Beavers, Wyatt. Sadova gets it over. Rachel. Baron Zimmerman goes cross court. And Wyatt, I'm not really sure what that was. She tried to go quick again. You know, she's had success on that all night so far. But that one, I mean, she still had, you know, another opportunity to maybe set that one. Short serve. Sadova. McCauley. Throwing it up the middle. Koontz. Kirshner. Rachel gets it, keeps it alive. Zimmerman that's, gets over the net. No way. What a diving effort by St. Cloud. Baird cannot believe it. And it all starts with Lindsay Rachel. Again, when your upperclassmen show that type of effort, when you're one of your best players show that type of effort, you know, it, it's really a no contest. The rest of the team follows. Koontz, Holman, Baron, Foley, she was calling for it. She's going to get credit for it. Just gets like one on the board. Yep, she's, she's felt a little left out. A little bit, but just like that, 12-4 now the Huskies lead as Minot is going to take a timeout. Minot's going to take a timeout here in Hallenbeck. And we're going to take a timeout here in 97.5 Radio X and the NSIC Network when we come back. 
It will be the conclusion of set three for Husky Volleyball. Nolan Walker shoots bar down, Nolan Walker. He's got two now on the evening, and the Huskies, just like that, take the lead back. Looking for your fill of St. Cloud State sports action? He finds Roberts in the left corner. His three is up and good. Another one. All your favorite St. Cloud State sports can be found at KVSC, Radio X, and the KVSC Sports Stream. In the slot momentarily, and the Huskies score. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to 97.5 Radio X. Huskies make a quick substitution out of the timeout. Kenzie Foley taking a breather. Maddie McTaggart steps in. Back set. McCauley Wyatt can't get it over the net. The Vegas native has struggled here in set three. Struggled mightily indeed. Yeah, she hasn't really been getting the same type of hits that she was getting in set numbers one and two. And it looks like she's going to go out here. And Savannah Wilson is going to check in. The Littleton, Colorado native. One of four redshirt freshmen last year for the Beavers. McCauley speeds over runs this down. Here's Koontz off the fingertip. Rachel. Baron just feeds it to Zimmerman right up the middle. Thrown over Rachel. Barron feeds Mac Taggart. She bombs one. And Mac Taggart gets her first kill of the match. That was a loose ball. I almost dove on the ground for it. You, you almost fell out of your chair. I Rachel, short did. serve. It's going to be an ace for Lindsay Rachel. That's going to be her first of the night. And the Huskies now have 12 service aces. We need to look up what's the record for most aces by a St. Cloud State team. I will do my best to look up. Mac Taggart gets number two. No, not yet. Barron's going to be a net touch. Beavers get the point. Bregelman can't believe it. Yep, so no substitutions here by Coach Bregelman. Once again, Lindsay Rachel is only 10 kills away from the all-time record. And as it stands right now, 15-5, she would need to get all 10 of these remaining points if she wanted it. Barron, Rachel throws it over. Braun, Kuntz, Kirshner. Barron tossing it back, Holman. Braun, back to Kuntz. Rachel, Barron, here's Holman. And Holman gets the kill. Lindsay Rachel will not break the record tonight. She will not, not unless Minot State makes a miraculous comeback here from down 11 to win this set number three. And Kirshner serves up here. She gets an ace. That's going to be number four for Kirshner. And now her and Rossi have four apiece. Yeah, so let's see now, man. I mean, 17-5. We might be witnessing a different type of record here tonight. And it's going to be an ace for Kershner. That's number five. I, 13 on the night. We see Tesh going to come in for... Tesh in for Holman. And it is Shimon in for Barron. Because there is a lot of, I don't want to say new faces, but. Yeah, of uncommon faces. Uncommon faces yeah. right now for the Huskies. Is Waythin going to manage to get this one over? It was not pretty. I'm still looking for the record of aces in a match for St. Cloud. This one is going to be served. They've over tied here. their season high with 12 at the moment. Rossi thunders one over. Beavers keep it alive. Waiting from the three meter line. That's well long. And the Huskies had 12 service aces earlier this year against a Barton. And that was that was the first game down in Florida. Will be Braun to serve. Rachel. Shimon Rossi had to reach back for that one. Braun set up by Beckel. Will be Wathan. Shimon. Mac Taggart swings one over. Rossi throws this down. 
That's the funk. That's the funk we've been waiting for. From right Mount there. Everest. Yep. Yep, the score is 19-7. Coach Bregman making sure the scoring is right. And it is after conferring with the referee there. Shimon gets it over. Braun DePalo, that's the third time tonight we've seen a, sh a direct horizontal set that is just batted over by the Beavers. And that one was just a little bit of miscommunication there. I believe it was between uh, Mac Taggart and Rachel there. It will be an ace again for Mercoloni. As I believe that's number three for her tonight. Now that's number four for Merkel Lodi as the Italian has just been deadly, deadly with her serve. Yeah, and on that one, Mac Tager didn't really get her, her uh, hands out in front of her for that day because Rossi looks like it's going to get a kill on this one, maybe. Rossi, that's number six for Rossi. Rossi's hitting 625 right now. Have yourself a day. I Have mean. a day, Phoebe she, Rossi. She was the uh, defensive player of the week for the NSIC earlier on in the season. I mean, she could very easily be the offensive player of the week with numbers like that. Kotanokov goes long on her swing. Huskies lead 21-9. As Rossi, I believe, is six blocks away from joining the 400 club there. And McTaggart gets herself an ace. Huskies break the season high, 13 aces on the year. 13, it's unlucky for some, but right now for the Huskies. Have yourself a day. Have just, no, just have a day. I, I've said it a lot, but. Another so ace for McTaggart, that's 14 on the night. I cannot believe it. All right, have, have yourself a day here, ladies. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. There must be like just more gravity on that side of the court, I'm not sure. Mercoloni, Wathan shanks one through Rossi. 23 10. 23 10, so not trying to make a late run here, but it may be all for not. Still down 13. Will be Victoria Sedova now to serve. Gets this over. McTaggart calls. Shimon. Up for Rachel, that's back over. Shimon. Kirshner, here's Rachel. She's shut down by Jenna Palin. Yeah, and that was a really good job by the blockers up front for Minot State. They knew they were coming right back to Lindsay Rachel here as she continues to try to get ever so closer to that number one spot. Matt Taggart, Shimon, Rossi up the middle. Huskies with a match point. Zimmerman gonna step in for Kirshner here as the Huskies look to put away the Beavers. Rossi, Mercoloni, here's Kotelnikov. That's barely in as McTaggart just a half body whip away from that ball. 24-12 here. Huskies looking to close it out. Back Taggart up high. Shimon, Rachel, net touch. Beavers get the point. Yeah, she yeah she couldn't hold up on that one. I mean, she had a lot of force going in on that hit, and her body hit the net on that one. So I mean, that one's kind of that one's kind of non-negotiable there. That one you can't really dispute a whole lot. Palin serves up Mac Taggart. Shimon. Over to Rachel, and it ricochets to the floor. Lindsay, Rachel, Rockets won it. She'll be nine away tomorrow. Nine away tomorrow, and you and Carl Gunner will be witnesses to history tomorrow, Mr. Jaworski. Lindsay, Rachel, 13 kills on the match, 31 attempts. She's going to hit just about 267. And the Beavers, their dam has collapsed here in St. Cloud. They look to build another one tomorrow in Duluth. But right now for the Huskies, they're gonna enjoy this one. They are 100%, and again, you know, they're having fun. They had fun on senior night. We're able to navigate the emotions. We saw it in set one, kind of got a little shook up there, but really found it in sets two and three. It reestablished their dominance and walk out of here with a three-nothing sweep. And for St. Cloud State, Lindsay Rachel, end of the night. 
with 13 kills. Foley had nine. Rossi with five. Holman with four. Zimmerman with two. You had Emma Barry with 28 assists. Shimon had two. And then the 13 aces by St. Cloud. Yeah, I, I cannot believe it. Here's the, here's the rundown for, for aces, Adam. Rossi leads the team with four. Kirshner had five. Barron with three. Foley with one. And then near the end, Matt Taggart with two. Matt Taggart yeah. chipped in with two. Just unbelievable serving by St. Cloud there right at the end. Yeah, 100%. percent you know, just all night long. Yeah, all, yeah, I was going to say all night long, Earnhardt. All night long, they were able to just find the creases, and uh, Minot State, you know, was not able to handle a lot of these serves very well here. Um, so, I mean, the, you know, the biggest thing to take away from tonight, again, you know, it's it's been, once again, a dominant performance here by St. Cloud. Really showed, or, or really, I should say, flexed their muscle in this one and they walk out of here again with a 3-0 sweep on the weekend as coach Regelman is slowly making his way over to us. Regelman's gonna mosey his way on over here gets a couple fist bumps from the crowd and for St. Cloud just a a phenomenal night to play you Mary tomorrow who's up in Duluth right now and head coach Chad Bregelman Getting ready to step in the booth here. Chad, Lindsay, Rachel, she's nine away. You all, and big thing to note, you always tell your team to serve aggressively. You set a season high with 13 service aces on the night. Yeah, I thought we did a great job from the service line today. It put them in some, uh, some bad spots, uh, serving really hard. In fact, at one point, you know, I'm like, hey, let's let's serve the seams a little bit. Let's let's play some defense and work on our block moves. I'm trying to play some kids in some different spots in the back row just a little bit. So um, <laughs> never said this before, but I always want to work on some defense and not get so many aces <laughs> at the end. That's but, uh, that will be uh, that does not happen often. But just just in this particular situation, late in the season, we had some things we wanted to work on and had to be a little bit cleaner. But that was a fun match, and uh, I thought our women played well. Uh, Elena, Natalie got in a little bit there. Kern was a little bit more in the back row. Um, so it was fun. And coach, you know, you got one game left in the regular season and then you're on to conference play. What is your message every day to these women, whether it be in practice, throughout games? What do you say to them? Yeah, that's that's easy. It's about improvement and it might be different things. So it's uh, defending. We got to be a little better defending recently. That's what we've been talking about. Um, we got to be a little bit smarter on offense. Uh, when the ball gets tight to the net or when the ball gets high, what are we going to do? Attacking the seams. Um, their, their middle back had a bunch of digs in the back row. She was fantastic back there. So I said, you got to stop hitting right to zone six so it's a tiny little hand adjustment get on top of the ball a little bit more thumb down a little bit more pinky down if you're trying to go to one six seam so real little adjustments that they have to make uh, i thought we needed to cover a little bit better we weren't great covering balls we got blocked a couple too many times for uh, for my liking but just just that focus on improvement uh the serving i was very happy with our serving today overall though. that was that was a good part for us chad tomorrow you face you marry at lindsey rachel it almost assured now that she's going to break that first all time do you do you do you have your setters feed her more on purposely, or is that th their thing? Uh, mostly it's theirs. You know, today it was, hey, let's get her a couple balls early on, and, you know, if she doesn't score, give it to her one more time. And so kind of a repeat set, put her in good situations. But you can see what happens, though, too. You jump 35 times, you get a little tired and stuff like that. But, um, you know, our other hitters, though, were amazing because they were getting a lot of one-on-ones. Phoebe had a bunch of one-on-ones. McKenna, both of, the, both of those women hit over 500, so that was awesome. Sam had a bunch of kills there. Uh, she a little bit too much to zone six. We've been really working on that, but um, no, a lot of it's just them kind of feeling the situation. We were scoring a lot when she was in the front row, so that was a big part of it as well. Coach, when your best players, you know, give the effort here and really help lead the charge, how much easier does that make it to, you know, bring the, the rest of the team along with them? Well, that's key. Anytime your best players can also be some of your hardest workers and your smartest players, volleyball gets a lot easier. So, um, and I think you find that in most team sports. But really good job by them and Lindsay, Phoebe, McKenna, and uh, and Rachel, who will undoubtedly be missed going forward. But, you know, our season's not over, so hopefully we got a bunch more matches left. All right, Chad, we'll let you go. We'll let Thank you celebrate you this one. Appreciate it. Appreciate all our fans listening. And ladies and gentlemen, that was head coach Chad Brigham. Always a blast to talk to, whether on air, off air. Very humble guy. Huskies 
They dominate the Beavers here tonight. Dominate is exactly the right word for it. You know, like I said, especially in sets two and three, they looked like that team from the start of the season that was just running over people left and right, you know, getting off to that really good 12-0 start, of course, before running into the number one team in the nation, Wayne State, who, again, that's what side of the bracket they're on. So if they can get past Southwest Minnesota State, they got most likely, unless an epic collapse happens, like we I, have never I seen before, Wayne State is going to be now, waiting for you in the now, second round. You might, you might agree with me on this. I like our chances against Wayne. I mean, I do too. Again, I, I did not call that game. You and Carl Gunner called that game. But from what you and Carl told me, I mean, for sets one and three, you really, you know, these girls really played with them, and they showed that they can hang with the top team. You know, again, I think. And, and I'm getting way ahead of myself here. But, you know, if that does happen and they face off against Wayne State, I think, once again, control of the game is going to be just – like key is an understatement here, Earnhardt, because uh, I mean we even saw it in set number two against Wayne State. I mean they were able to just just rattle off it seems like five six points just uncontested. In the blink of an eye. Yeah, in the blink of an eye, and it, and it seems I call it a blitz. That's you know that's what I refer to it. Uh, again, I'm a basketball guy, so when a team you know rattles off eight, ten, twelve unanswered points, I mean they blitz you just like that, and that's what Wayne State can do. That's what Wayne State has done to pretty much every team so far this season. I, I don't even think they've gone five sets with anybody. Not off the top of my head. I would have to research that. But with that, that will conclude tonight's broadcast here on the NSIC Sports Stream and 97.5 Radio X tomorrow at 3 p.m. An hour later, 3 p.m., it will be myself, Earnhardt, Michael Jaworski, and Carl Gunner on the call as Huskies look to win out their last game of the year against the U. Mary Marauders.